<laughs> yeah, they're How weird is that though? That the Batman costume actually has a camel toe. But it's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I kind of see it now. Oh, Look on the brightest picture, he totally has a camel toe. <laughs> you guys oh notice, you guys notice all it took for DC and Warner Brothers to start putting out news was for Armin to go away for a month. Have you noticed that? <laughs> I know. Was, they knew that he was going because he announced it so long ago. I, I guess so, and it's with that, everyone, that I welcome you to the all-new episode of the Comic Book Cast Podcast, episode 116. And holy shit, did we get a news avalanche the last little while. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> all we have to do is just kick our meeting out of country, and then just news is going to start flying in all the time. <laughs> I know, right? So I guess to go around the room and introduce everyone who's here with me today, we of course have the lovely Shay holding it down over here. Woohoo! Holding it down in the BT. Mm-hmm. The lovely Sean over here, <laughs> who's being Sean. No, he wasn't <laughs> fired. <laughs> Oh, hang on, let me get my tiara and flowers and wave to the audience. <laughs> the shower rod. I He's can a, see you doing that. That's what's really rod. sad. He's a I love the people no, no, we were serious about rod, game. Oh. I know, right? People were actually serious when they thought that, you know, no, they fired Sean. We could never get rid of Sean. Yeah, that, you know, that's why I wasn't on the, the Spider-Man podcast, because you guys <laughs> fired me for like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like we can't get rid of the lovely Tom, who has now changed his avatar to be the new Batman suit cod piece. Way to go. <laughs> Yeah, because it has a camel toe. Batman has a camel toe now. That junk. Well, you can't <laughs> lie and say this Batman doesn't have balls to spare. If anything, I would say he has too many balls. They mm. added some, uh, they have a crotch enhancement again. Mm. They brought that team back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, Batman's got to be the big swinging dick OG. And speaking of big swinging dick OGs, and because I'm bad at segues, Joe's here too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe, you just got promoted to have a big dick. And now if you don't, all your lady fans are going to hate you for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, Joe's I better girls will watch like- it. I better just go on Google other dicks so I can have, like, a dick double. You know dick what I mean? <laughs> dick double. Oh, man. That, that's in the running for title the title of this. podcast. Bat, <laughs> bat now, Fleck double dick. Double. Now we got more women to watch the show. For real. That, our, our female numbers are going to shoot up huge after this. So, of course, if you can't tell... The big news that's been taking the internet by storm is today we got a reveal, not only of the new Batmobile, but of the new Batsuit, and hey everyone, it's Dark Knight Returns, it's basically just the Dark Knight Returns suit. It basically is with, like, kind of new 52 gloves, if I, I don't know. It's not bad. I do like the symbol how it's bigger, though, just because Nolan had a little skinny small one, and you kind of have to be different. Uh, It almost looks like, though, the Bat symbol is fat. And it, well, and just like in Dark Knight Returns. It was See, that one, okay, this one looks like a bat in a way, though. No, that Batman Returns just looks kind of weird. Th- this whole suit feels like a lot of, you know, compensating for stuff like, Batman's crotch needs to be bigger. The bat symbol needs to be bigger. He needs <laughs> yeah, to drive the a fan. Are you saying poor smaller. Ben Affleck has a small penis? <laughs> no, I'm just oh saying that this Batman... No, we're who, who we're we saying that Christian Bale bigger. has a small penis. Well, oh, Christian okay. Bale definitely has a small <laughs> penis. Why do you think he got so mad on Terminator Salvation? Maybe. Uh. Maybe. So, and again, too, because, you know, this is a much older Batman than we're used to. Maybe this is Batman during his midlife crisis. He's stuffing his crotch. He's getting a shinier bat car. <laughs> he's dating younger women. You know, it's just a very confusing time for Batman right now. Robin left me. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I mean, from the thirst that, you know, the DC fans have, you know, waited for for this movie, man, I mean, that they got rewarded pretty heavily today. Hey, here's the suit and here's the car. Yeah, but it's basically just a tumbler. It is. And they still haven't shown us Wonder Woman's suit or the updated Superman suit. And they still haven't shown like the front of much of DC. Like I, I kind of look at this picture and I see so much that looks like it's completely photoshopped. Even though it is their official reveal of it, it still like looks like it's half photoshopped. Like it's clearly Affleck. You can tell from the butt chin. (laughs) <laughs> which, I, which I stand by what I said when he got cast. The man has a good face for a cowl, and I think this shows. Yeah. But also, I mean, if you look at the suit, you can see the texture that has on it. It looks like scarves, you know, it, yeah. just on the bat, too. I'm like, oh, maybe they're trying to make him like, a, you know, he's been through some war or something like that. It's a veteran. I, 
I, it just reminds me of that fan suggested title because Henry Cavill has a butchin too. It was just uh, Batman versus Superman: Battle of the Butchins. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the most that. part, I, I do dig the suit. The one thing, well, okay, maybe two things that are kind of off-putting about it. One, it's a black and white picture. And yeah. I would really like to judge the colors. I was actually talking to the dude from Variant who follows me on Twitter. He's like, it's probably going to be black and gray. I'm like, you're right. It's probably going to be black mm-hmm. and gray. Because, I mean, they took everything else from Dark Knight Returns. They're probably going to take the color I honestly palette, want too. gray how nice would it, blue. How nice, yeah. How nice would it be <laughs> if the black was actually more of a dark blue? Yeah. That'd, be like, that'd be so out of nowhere. I wouldn't have expected that. They already that. did it for Superman, so I imagine they're not going to do it here. <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate yeah. that it's not scale mail, like uh, what Superman has. It's also clearly yeah. not armor, which is nice. I mean, I think every other Batsuit we've had has kind of been an armored mess. Yeah, it always has been, mm-hmm. especially that's I, the that's nipples. The main, that's the main thing <laughs> I like at least, they have, at least there's no else. nipple suits. <laughs> at least there's yeah. no nipples. But does anyone else get like it looked puffy? Like, like, they had to draw the abs on. I know Armin. Yeah. They had to spray yeah, them like, I didn't notice that at first until I saw, like, I think Armin said it, and I was like, yeah. yeah I never I noticed the it. abs until someone said it. Well, yeah, it's, and the thing is, it's because of the fact that Ben Affleck, he is, he's a bigger guy. He's not a muscle bigger, but he's not a fat bigger. He's one of those, like, middle bigger guys, and... He, they have to sit there and they have to do the muscle suits like they do on Chris Evans and all the other guys. Like yeah. that's what he's got on. But then you guys are talking about like the scars. The scars almost look like freaking shoot up veins to me. <laughs> but you're also though. This is a horrible black and white picture. Okay. I like. I want more color. Give me like what it actually looks like. Not. I'm gonna put a black yeah. and white <laughs> shield thing on top. Batman, I'm gonna Instagram though. the shit out of this. Are they actually supposed to be scars? Because obviously there's scratches on the bat symbol itself, which looks almost metallic. But I just thought that was like um, just where the fabric is starting, like it's thin fabric or something. I just thought they added that like to as a little touch. I don't know. That's what I thought, but. I don't know. Well, once we have better pictures, we'll definitely yeah, be able yeah. to actually see okay. it. Hopefully, Wait, they won't can we Instagram. Talk about the car, though. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, sure. We've this about. fucking car is so stupid. It's okay, the, it's the tumbler. It's better yeah, than the tumbler, it. but it's, it's still not. Than it the looks tumbler. like a mix of tumbler and the '89. Like, cause I remember For in the me, teaser, really. it looked longer. Like it, the Batmobile looked longer. You know, we can't re- yeah. clearly see the front of it. I think it's is just it the tumbler now. It's is just, it weird it, though that it looks it looked better with a sheet over it? <laughs> it did, no, you're not wrong. The shape, it looked better when we couldn't see it. Yeah, the it, shape it of it looks side. like it was a mix of tumbler and like eighty nine. But now that we see it, it's just the tumbler again. Like certain girls, this new Batmobile looks better from behind. Yeah, like, oh. and then you look in the front, and you're just like, oh my god, put a bag uh, over there. You look in the front, <laughs> it's a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Did a, the Batmobile hit you. Oh yeah, because it's now the tumbler. Well, again, it's pretty <laughs> clear that I mean, and again, I talked to Jay Oliver about this as well in my new interview that's up now. Snyder loves him some Dark Knight Returns. Which is clear, because the costume is Dark Knight Returns, and in Dark Knight Returns, he had a bulky, Tumblr-esque Batmobile, which makes sense why he would have one here. Yeah, exactly. I thought he had a tank. Well, fuck, well, this thing's a tank, too, but you know what I mean. It's It's like seeing which one's better, though. Like, this, you know, this was the promo shoot for Batman, but remember that Superman that came out with Man of Steel? Like, he was in the, uh, like, what was it, the bank or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Because Tom showed that earlier, and I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And now, which one was better? Now, my question is, are they going to call it the Batmobile? Because I know Matt had an interesting thing. I don't know where he got his info from, but what he was saying is that they are indeed going to call this the Tumblr Mark II. Prototype. Oh, yeah. well, I, I mean, don't know where he heard that. But they I want to be different from the Nolan, so I, I don't know why they would call it the Tumblr. Yeah, I, I want them to be different. I really hey, hope it gets to be Yeah, let's be yeah. different by giving him the Tumblr. <laughs> No, as long as they don't call it the Tumblr, I don't even care if they don't call it the Batmobile. Call it the fucking Bat's Car for all I the care. Like, stu- the stupidest name you can think of. Oh, the it's bat the Bat. Yeah. <laughs> the Bat Hoopty. The Bat Ride. But even then, like the Tumblr, they just said, paint it black. This one, you know, it's at least, you know, let it be his. Like, he made it. He just didn't find yeah. it and say, paint it black. Yeah. That's why I like it. Actually, has all Batman attributes that the other one didn't. It looks like a bat. That is nice. It certainly has more personality than the Tumblr. Mm. It's, totally I like that the hood sucked. looks very reminiscent of the um, 89 uh, Returns and uh, s- slight elements of the re- uh, Batman Forever, Batman Batmobile in there as well. A little bit, a little bit. Wait, he where? also slightly reminds me of the Arkham Asylum Batmobile a little <coughs> That's bit. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, it reminds me of it very slightly. It's like they've taken a few elements from that, but 
Yeah. Well, I think there's another mystery to this picture. Down there, is that a bulge or a camel toe? I think. Yeah, his freaking. Yeah, <laughs> Again, we gotta talk about the dick. The All right, bat. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to talk about his bat vagina? <laughs> the bat his bat vagina. Uh, yet again, th- this is a Batman trying to be, you know, bigger and radder than everyone else. And how do you do that? By having a bigger cod piece than Superman. He saw Superman and was like, oh, he grabbed the tissue box, start stuffing his dick in. <laughs> Better stuff this crotch, I tells you. I love that they're doing that now, yet when they made Superman Returns, there was an article with Brian Singer where he said about having to conceal um, Brandon Routh's penis because it was so huge, apparently. Oh, that yeah. I, I remember there. reading that. <laughs> they so what it was shoot. is they had a penis enhancement team, and then they had to turn around and rehire more people to unenhance his penis. <laughs> Yeah. Now, apparently, like I just remember reading this article and thinking, "Wow, Brian Singer's kind of creepy because he just said in it, Brandon is very lucky as he's one of the most well endowed men in men in Hollywood." And I was just like, "What and the hell?" Brian what's Singer's coming. doing an interview about his Superman's penis. Well, like. too bad he can't get any because after Dylan Dog, it's just. Aww. <laughs> and considering what's come out about Singer recently, that article becomes way creepier. Yeah. It was creepy at the time. At least Brandon Routh wasn't like a fourteen-year-old boy. Well. Yeah, but no. he's probably did get his dick sucked by Brian Singer. <laughs> Multiple times. Ouch. You uh, know you did it, Singer. Don't deny it. And, and from, you know, a bulge in a pants to a wizard in a place far away, the other big thing that hit this week was the Constantine trailer. Oh, my God. I actually, I'm going to say, I just literally watched it for the first time before we did the podcast so oh, that wow. I had it, like, fresh in my head. Holy crap, this is going to be freaking amazing. It's It's going to be a really good show. It's looking cool. I know people were quick to say, oh man, I've seen this show. It's called Supernatural. You know what? I've never even watched Supernatural. Neither have I. I thought it looked like Supernatural. No, it's well, better than Supernatural. Is, I've, watched, I've watched this in season one. So season nine, this looks like it's going to be way better. Is it? That's good. It, it definitely has like the grim uh, feel to it because grim yeah. goes darker. And I've got, it's got like a Hannibal kind of feel too. Like it feels like it's going to be a little bit psychotic, but very out there with their demons mm. like grim is. And I, the only thing I didn't see, and I don't know if anybody else did. Did you, anybody see a cigarette? Besides him flaming you, uh, his you, hands, you can't smoke on TV, so they're not. Gonna but you can smoke. have though the electric ones. Ah, well, hey, that would be yeah, a that great cool. mark. That would be a great marketing yeah. thing for Constantine with the hookah. Oh, yeah, I, just, <laughs> I, I, I can see the commercials right now. You know, smoke the same hookah that Constantine does, kids. Oh. He's a, he's a, you know, he's from DC. He, I'm literally smoking one as we do this podcast. Are you seriously? How is it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really nice. I've got flavored ones. I've got uh, one that tastes like a uh, green apple and the other one tastes like Red Bull. What we're trying to say, kids who listen to the show, get smoking so you can be cool like Tom and Constantine. <laughs> no, I was about to no. say, he's a superhero, but he's not a hero. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, well, what we're true. saying is if you do smoke, get this instead because it will make it a lot easier to give up. Yeah, there you go. That's why I'm doing this. You can go down in strengths. But anyway. Or if you also <laughs> want to try giving up smoking and all, go healthier. Go to the electric. And uh, we're going yeah. off topic That's with cigarettes. Well, let's get back to some <laughs> Constantine. <laughs> Constantine looks good. It does Angels. look good. Well, yeah, what I appreciate the about... Only, or the only thing I... Sorry. The only thing I didn't like in the Constantine trailer was there, there was that one bit where the girl's looking at her mother or something her dead grandma or something, and then she does that face morph thing that is seen in thousands of YouTube videos. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's that After Effects face morph into a demon to like thing that there's like a tutorial and everyone done it. And the yeah. thing is, is like, I think what they wanted to do with that is kind of be like, hey, look, we're doing what everybody else is doing, but we're going to do it better. Just some way yeah. they're going to do it better. And that could be the way that they're doing it. But also when anybody thinks of a demon... That's what they kind of think. Of. It's just they're going to morph out of this and be like, nah. oh. What I appreciate is that in the trailer, they definitely get across to me that Constantine isn't going to be your typical good guy hero. He's very much in line with something like Han Solo, where they even say where it's like, oh, man, he lost this poor girl her soul. Then he, you know, threw himself into a mental institution. No, no, no. What it was is uh, he damned a girl to hell yeah. and he lost his soul in the process. 
Oh, well, something oh. like that, basically. But again, That's why I watched it before oh, we did this, so I well. can remember this crap. <laughs> again, n- not a good guy. D- doing some bad-ish stuff is what I was trying to say. So he's basically just like, he's good, but chaotic good. He's did ca- you catch the, the Dr. Fate helmet? Because I know a fan pointed it out Okay, is that the us. Dr. Fate helmet? Because uh, I don't think it is. Yeah. I think that could have been anything. I think people are reaching like motherfuckers. I mean, but one. like, uh, you, he said it, and it's kind of like, now it's kind of hard not to see it. Yeah, okay, you see, because that's the thing. Once you say, oh, it's the helmet of fate then you can't not yeah. look at it and see the helmet of fate I, I mean it could it could not we'll just have to wait and see but now i just can't stop seeing oh that probably is it and you know if it's anything i imagine it would just be a total easter egg is what it is yeah. I, I don't yeah. think they're gonna actually do anything with it now one thing I, I i'm really excited for from this trailer is that it clearly showed you know constantine fighting monsters not just dudes in suits he's fighting actual honest to god monsters and demons which makes me wonder if we're going to see some constantine villains in there like the first of the fallen the vampire king nurgle they'll probably have to do nurgle at some point nurgle the demon i don't know why but as soon as you said nurgle i immediately (laughs) thought of like urkel's like cousin (laughs) nurgle Hey, Constantine, I'm Nurgle. <laughs> I'm the king of the demons. I'm going to like, fill you with demon blood that's going to give you cancer. Like, remember Myrtle, though? Like, <laughs> it, like I just immediately, I'm like, when Constantine fights Urkel's cousin Myrtle? <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. But you can, you know, you can hope to see at least Papa Midnight in there. Oh, yeah. I, I think Papa Midnight's already been confirmed that we're going to get Papa Yeah, Midnight he's been confirmed, and I hear from people who read the, the pilot script and you know, it's just that uh, they didn't show me the names. For real, right? Well, you know, Papa Midnight, <laughs> occasional villain, occasional ally of Constantine. Papa Midnight, I saw that dude on the street corner. Of- <laughs> See, that's what I would think too. Oh my, he's not like a pimp, dude. Hey, that's Papa basically Midnight. what he is. He, he's a voodoo pimp. That's basically what he is. Oh no, shit. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. He's a New York crime boss who uses voodoo and occasionally helps Constantine out. Yeah, that is what he is. <laughs> That's fucking nice. awesome. Sean Fun, his favorite character in Constantine now. He's going to be yeah, a pimp. I, I now want to see who the fuck Papa Midnight is, well, and I want to like him. Well, hey, Sean, <laughs> you're a big fan of Oz, right? Well, guess what? Wheelchair guy from Oz is playing an angel in the show. No shit. No it's shit. The, Lost? the dude from uh, the dude from Lost. Yep, the one, yep. uh, like, <laughs> like Walt's dad. Yep, yep. Walt's Whoa! dad. Yeah, he's an angel. Oh, that's awesome! I know, right? I'm in love with the show Mer- already because I Mercutio love Mercutio from uh, that Romeo and Juliet movie oh, with John Leguizamo in it. <laughs> the, guy, the guy who played Daniel Faraday in Lost is also in this. Yes, he is. There's a Ooh, lot of yeah. Lost actors in this. And there's Just, great actors. Lost has some great actors. All right. Yeah. Yeah, All right, is Ed Abisi in it? He probably will be. He'll, he'll be Nurgle. There you go. I want Ed Abisi <laughs> to be Nurgle. What about John Locke? John Locke oh, hey, lo- would be amazing in it. I don't know yeah. who he'd play. Locke can be the first of the fallen. There we go. The guy who played Desmond would make a good, um, Dude, he's good Constantine. Actor. Even though he's Scottish, like he'd make a great Constantine. Well, actually, I'm glad you brought that up, Tom, because as our resident Brit, and I feel like we should have uh, Matt here too to talk accents. Were you upset that they're not going on the full, you know, Scouse, the full Liverpool accent, which is what he's always been written with in the comics? Honestly, couldn't give two shits. As really? long as he's British. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, it's British enough. It's, Again, it's I have to than Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Okay, you're absolutely right. And I'll right. tell you what, we've heard Keanu Reeves' British accent in Dracula, and I'm glad he didn't go with it, but... <laughs> <laughs> that time. was actually something that I had to... I almost, like, wanted to slap my mom, because my mom's like... I was like, oh my god, the Constantine's gonna be amazing. Mom's like, oh, so it's a continuation of the, the movie? I'm like, no, it's not a continuation of the movie, god damn it! It's actually closer to hell. <laughs> we'll take your pills there. <laughs> there are still people that think the Dark Knight trilogy is a continuation of the um, Burton films, though. Weirdos. <laughs> There's yeah. still people, I still hear that on a semi-regular basis. Wow, really retarded. If I start talking Batman with someone who has no idea, they're like, oh, the only thing I didn't get is how was the Joker alive in Dark Knight when he died in the 1989, oh, or in, the, in the Jack Nicholson one? Oh and it's God. like, I, I, I don't even bother explaining it anymore. I just say, Do you not know what yeah. your brain is? <laughs> I used to just say, yeah, I know, it's weird, right? And then I just, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to correct him. Yeah, just play along saying, with it. Those are those control. Batman fans that are like, I've been a Batman fan my whole life, but they actually don't know anything about Batman, and it's just like, you go, ah. That's, that's like this dude I work with that says he's a huge Wolverine fan, and and he just only followed the movies, and I'm like, dude, I've brought up a lot of comic book stuff. He's like, 
you can't kill Wolverine, though. And I'm like... Oh, and you oh, should yeah. know, Sean, we only make you review, like, what, six Wolverine comics every no, day? No, the thing is, you don't make me. I choose to. I choose, <laughs> I choose my own destiny. A man I, chooses. I fucking love those comics now. <laughs> and you know what? That's a perfect segue, Sean, because we got some X-Men news, actually. Apparently... X Men mm-hmm. Apocalypse and X Men or in, you know, and the Wolverine two are going to be filming back to back. Oh yeah, I heard about that one, and it's probably gonna suck. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, movies that film back to back don't exactly have the best track record. Usually, the first no, one's no. pretty good because that's where they got all their energy and time. And by the time the second one rolls around, they're, they're all burned just, out. They're burned oh, but out. It, it makes sense just because Hugh Jackman has to maintain mm-hmm. that physique of oh, yeah. the Wolverine, like. Everything he has, so you know it makes sense. His oh, oh it, it makes logical sense, no yeah. doubt. I'm just a little worried. But yeah, I get you what you mean. Yeah. Especially because we really liked uh, what is it? The first Wolverine movie we thought, or the, yeah. the Wolverine. Uh, yeah, the Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not the Origins was great though. Oh, with, with the ladder <laughs> cutting. How could I forget? <laughs> straight when you're talking about certain things that we all like you can't say we all like one thing when we know the other one's better and the amnesia bullet but uh yeah i mean uh i guess it's cool that we're getting more uh solo wolverine movies in this new mold of what they're doing uh i i know i for i think it was jackman or one of the writers who kicked around the possibility of doing old man logan and i think old man logan would make for a great you know capper not only to the wolverine series but to hugh jackman playing the character if we could actually i think go. it was hugh jackman that said that actually because he, he was you know when he was talking about possibly leaving after yeah. um days of future past he did say at one point he would maybe come back if they wanted to do an old man logan like 10 years later or something i think that would be the best send-off for him and yeah. his character i really do that would be amazing yeah. if they did that because you would then get that awesome farewell that respect that Hugh Jackman deserves because he is the one person who has always been the same character yeah. throughout every movie or they any have any Batman never... or any Superman yeah exactly he's never been replaced and the only way to replace him is to let him be on his way and then mm. reboot it later on down the road and it yeah. doesn't matter as well how bad some of the movies got like origins i'm just referring always to origins when i say always bad origins. or three but whatever yeah all three uh, three is better than origins i, I say but we, we could is... argue that but continue <laughs> yeah yeah i always say though jackman at least was pretty badass in those films mm-hmm. even if it was a not a good film like he always put yeah. in a solid performance you can tell he actually gave a shit when he other did. people didn't for real mm-hmm. And that's a, a respect that we all want to make sure that we give him, especially mm. in the end. Um, mm. And the thing is, is we he has to end it soon. He's getting really old. His body's not going to be able to go from skinny to jacked, and his body's not going to take those steroids very much longer. Yeah. And is he having to skin cancer? Yeah, I was going to say, and isn't he having skin cancer problems? Yeah, so too? how are they going to work right that there? in or out of the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Plus, when I was watching the Wolverine, I was just thinking as well, like, if you had veins popping like that on the outside of your arms and stuff, like, how, like, I just imagine one of them just bursting on set and just thinking, oh, Ooh. like, because that happens to bodybuilders. Their veins just yeah. burst oh, yeah. sometimes. Like, oh, if that happened God. to, like, Hugh Jackman, I'd feel so bad for the Seen guy because he's though. doing it for us. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I know. I mean, when he does Wolverine, he's made it very clear. I'm going to keep doing it as long as the fans want me to. Yeah. At this point, he could walk away and he'd probably be happy with his yeah. career because he's got a pretty great career. Oh, yeah. But he, 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 the thing is, is he did what we want. He became yeah. a character that all of us are going to know and love throughout time. And that's also the best thing any actor could want. Oh, yeah. And to think mm. we were this close to getting Mel Gibson, those pictures oh, hit the God. internet. <laughs> Mel Gibson as possible Wolverine. I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Mel Gibson is Wolverine in real life, right? He just... basically is. He is the darker side of Wolverine. Just listen to his phone conversations. I'll bury you in the Rose Garden, bub! <laughs> <laughs> While drinking, popping his claws and shit. Just Wolverine just casually dropping the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> Because like, he grew up in that time, so he just casually doing it. He never got yeah. he, he never got used to it. If anyone would be casually racist, it would be Wolverine, who's been around since slavery times, quite literally. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. That, just imagine that version. 
pack of bubs coming at you. <laughs> Wait, what? A pack of bubs? A pack of bubs. Oh, man. A pack of bubs from the wire coming at you. I left my first wife because we weren't uh, spiritually compatible, bub. <laughs> <laughs> I bend over backwards with my adamantium nuts in a knot for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going. Keep going. See, it's... <laughs> Yeah, what other crazy shit you said in that? Just the crazy breathing. Sniggity's nice. You know what? You know what would be a hilarious if Hugh Jackman would do what they did with um, Spartacus, and it's like Jupiter's asshole, and you just have his adamantium asshole. (laughs) It's like yeah, Jupiter stuck your cock in that. You probably wouldn't. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't ask. You heard it, Cox and adamantium assholes. Think <laughs> nothing of it, Sean. Why is this not a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Sean reads like 60 Wolverine comics. He's like, you mean they haven't done one about adamantium assholes? <laughs> I would think they would. <laughs> they haven't. I'm sure they have, but they were only made by fans. True, on DeviantArt. Yeah. And speaking of adamantium assholes and X-Men casting, uh, Channing Tatum has now been confirmed Gambit. as Gambit. Yeah. Channing like, Tatum so- is Gambit. Okay, oh, no, no, here's, here's the thing. As a, as a person from Louisiana, yes. um, this dude's going to fuck it up because uh, <laughs> where's, where, where's Channing, Tatum, Channing Tatum from? He's from uh, the place where white guys talk like black guys. He's southern, but not from, like, not the type of... No, he is not Creole. He ain't okay, Creole yeah. at all. That dude cannot put on a goddamn Creole accent. Can, can we name any Creole actors? I can't think of any. Yeah, neither can I, really. But still, <laughs> all I'm saying is, like, I want Channing Tatum to Alabama. do like, deep, deep research where that dude goes to uh, New Orleans. Eats crawfish, to... practices some voodoo. Yeah, ex- yeah. no, no, no oh, voodoo. We don't Alabama. do that shit. Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> no, Alabama. No. Alabama. I try to do that. To, he needs to learn how to talk in broken French. It's it, true. That is what yeah. Creole is, mon cher. It, shut up. Anyway, <laughs> but, <laughs> he needs to learn how to talk in broken French. Learns that he needs to learn how to love like big booty hoes, gay men, and white <laughs> big women. Booty hoes. Get well, weird. remember he was in Magic Mike, so he yeah. kind of had a lot of gay people all around him. Then, yeah. So. Oh well, Sh- Shay's yeah. not wrong on that one. Yeah, true. <laughs> See, I don't think he's a terrible actor. It's just that you know he gets bad material. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't think he's a good wrong, actor. I've, I've yet to see him in anything except Twenty One Jump Street that I actually could stand him in. That was hilarious. <laughs> Did you see Magic Mike? He's actually quite good in Magic. <laughs> Have you Mike. seen This Is the End? Oh, I saw that for the first time. It was, him. It was hilarious. Yeah, he played the slave dog, and that was like, "Yo, Shannon Tatum's my bitch." See. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> just like in Mad Max. Anyway, but yeah, for, for real though, like him as Gambit, it's just a really, really weird choice. It, well, yeah, it, it is. But you got to think about it from like a Hollywood bigwig suit thing, where it's like, well, what's Gambit? Well, the ladies like him, and he's hot. And Channing Tatum, <laughs> the ladies like him. And well, I guess you know Gambit's Creole, and Tatum's from the South, so that's close enough, I guess. <laughs> that's close enough. Oh, just give him a Southern accent. Um, he should have a little bit of French in there. What the fuck is French? Yeah, probably. That's probably how the casting went. See, I always uh, imagined so... Gambit is a much more skinnier sort of guy. Same, I imagined him jacked. like he's not overly jacked. Yeah, I thought he yeah. was like yeah. skinny. Like he had to, like, he has skills and talent which help him kick yeah, off. Like, not... Wolverine muscle. Origins, uh, tailored kid. I think that's yeah. Him. He was He's good. the right body yeah. type. Yeah, I thought Poor he. Taylor I thought he, you know, I would have accepted if they brought him back, but they got Channing Tatum. Let's have a moment of silence for Taylor <laughs> Kitch's career. Anyway, now, now that that silence <laughs> is over. <laughs> Well, the thing is, is I'm I'm probably gonna like any girl who watches this because of me. They're all gonna hate me because I am somebody who doesn't give two shits about Channing Tatum. Like the only reason why I think he is funny is because when our mean sits there and he lifts weights and he does Channing the whole Channing Tatum, Channing Tatum. That's like the only thing. I'm like, you're just this weird baby face muscle guy he who is, is being face, thrown right. everywhere and i'm like i liked you in gi joe because i just loved the ridiculousness of the whole gi joe not because of you 21 jump street was good but, but that I, was the writers with a really clever script who worked with him yeah exactly and Same this with is Magic the end Mike, he was had a director who really worked with him yeah it's just i was uh, i'm 
I don't think he's going to do it. I love Gambit. I love the Gambit and Rogue relationship, mm-hmm. that which they're never going to freaking do, which pisses me off. Not but anyways. Now they're not. Um, but uh, it's just, I don't see him as Gambit. I see Gambit as like a taller, skinnier guy, not this short, too mm-hmm. muscular for his own good. Like, I can see him playing like the more cat version and the more hunched version of Wolverine more than I can as Gambit. Mm-hmm. I yeah. can see more as like someone like Colossus. Yeah, but do you he's think too he can short to be Russian Colossus, accent? and I highly doubt I would ever want to hear him attempt a Russian accent. <laughs> hey guys, Good vodka, AK forty sevens. I grew up in Chernobyl. <laughs> Red Army. I think I've said it on this podcast before, though, but every time I hear the name Channing Tatum, I just hear him in the Matt Damon from Team America voice. He's Channing Tatum. Tatum. Yay, Tatum. Going to Disney World. It is the most meat-headed name you could ever ask for, Channing Tatum. That's like, who beat you up in high school? Channing Tatum. Yeah, his name was Channing. Are you serious? You got beat up by a dude named Channing? Who had sex with your girlfriend in the back of an Oldsmobile? Channing Tatum. It's like he's the I want to know what his parents were thinking. Me too. It's almost like the parents that sat there and named their kid hashtag. I was like, oh, are God. are you serious? Like fuck those parents. Really? They, they, that's child abuse. They should actually have their kid taken away. They really like, should. The moment they told the doctor, and it's like, what's the name for the birth certificate? Oh, we're gonna call him hashtag. The doctor should just call social services just then and slap him in the <laughs> dick, both of them. Well, the doctor should have just laughed and gone like, no, seriously, what are you going to call him? And speaking of dick slapping, believe it or not, uh, X-Men news keeps on coming, and a character who was slapped in the dick quite thoroughly in the original trilogy might be returning. Cyclops could be coming back for Days of Future Past and or Beyond. no one cares. Yeah, no one really cares. that cast photo, though, the group cast yeah, photo, and James Marsden's... Uh, he's actually there. Yep, Marsden was there, which would seek to say that, hey, maybe he's coming back to With this. his sandwich paycheck. <laughs> For real. <laughs> which again, If Xavier can come back, so can Cyclops, because they're both, they were both killed the same way. Absolutely. They're basically ignoring X Men Three, even though the um, viral marketing has established that it did happen. And like, even though the Wolverine is a direct carryover from yeah. X Men Three, which itself uh, bridges the gap between that and Days of Future Past, but whatever. Yeah, we'll just ignore that. <laughs> yeah, again, the the early reviews for Days of Future Past are hitting online and have been positive, as most early reviews are. But it, so were the Amazing Spider-Man 2 reviews. Indeed. Again, early reviews are always positive. Most of the time, people are just so stoked to see the movie, they're totally happy. But that's neither here nor there. My question is, do you think the series would benefit at all from having Cyclops come back? At this point, I would say no. I think his character's been too mangled at this point. Hmm. Plus, he's not even the only dude who can shoot fucking lasers now. We got his brother, father, cousin, Havoc, whoever he is. Well, isn't that established in the clip that Havoc died or something? Does Havoc die? I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet. I thought there was that clip where Magneto lists off a bunch of mutants that are already dead. Oh, well, that would be some bullshit. They kill off Havoc, a character who was likable in first class, just to be like, hey, everyone, we brought Cyclops back. That would be something that would just piss a lot of people off because Havoc is the better Cyclops that we've at least gotten in the movies yeah. because they have, they've shat on freaking Cyclops' character and the whole him and Gene thing. Like, they made him a little baby and not, like, a good guy. I don't see what his coming back could add unless, you know, the events of Days of Future Past, as has been theorized by us here, will end up rewriting the entire universe and, you know, setting time back or some shit. I don't know. Mm. But there is that announcement that X Men Apocalypse is just with the first class team as well. Uh huh. Which yeah. again? So what's so what's the point in bringing it back and rebooting the universe if you, the next movie's not even going to follow that universe? I have no idea. Okay, you guys just made my so fucking much. head hurt. You know, I, I get the feeling that one <laughs> of the big hurdles to enjoying Days of Future Past for people who have followed the other movies closely is just turning off your brain to the fact that none of this is going to make any actual sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in terms of continuity, which again, if you're willing to let that go, uh, and I've joked about it before where it's like, hey, the X-Men movies are now almost as convoluted and confusing as the X-Men comics. It's mm. great, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Look how great it is. Look how super great. No, it's not great. It's not great. Uh, I, I mean, it's not the point of adapting, you know, a comic to a movie is that you can keep it more co- concise and coherent. 
Yeah, no, they don't do that. That's why we want the rights back. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, something we can talk about. Uh, Agent Carter confirmed to air while S.H.I.E.L.D. takes its mid-season break next TV season. Cool, right? I love that. Yeah, that's cool. I love like, it. Like, that's as a long great as they idea. get the actress back. Yeah, yeah, they are a thing. It's a miniseries, like 13 episodes. Is it confirmed? Because I thought it was just... Uh, uh, I thought they did confirm it, but uh, I might have... Uh, you know, they, I, I would not be happy if they did replace her because she, she's what we all fell in love with. Absolutely. But, uh, but mm-hmm. see, the reason I see a miniseries like 13 episodes happening is because looking at Haley Atwell's um, like previous work, she's done miniseries TVs like... Like TV shows that are just 13 episodes, whatever, 10. So this is why it would be more possible because, you know, they kind of have to get her. Why would you recast her with someone else? It's the same universe. You need her. But yeah, I, need, exactly. I, I need her to be back because, like, she, she has done some amazing TV work, but she's yeah. also just, she's perfect as that character. Especially after and, we got to see her old in The Winter Soldier, for Christ. Yeah. She returns and sadly back. senile. Oh, yeah, that's that's tragedy. That well, made me, like, tear up. Shot. The one shot she did. Oh, perfect. that was excellent. Perf- perfect backdoor pilot for this TV show. Absolutely, which leads me to my next question. What kind of stories would you like to see on Agent Carter? Well, uh... obviously we want to see exactly how they start everything with S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm-hmm. We want to see how they actually start it. And, how um, Hydra also... infiltrated them. Yeah, and, and exactly, the beginning of how Hydra infiltrated. But also, how did they... How did she meet her husband? Because they ah, talked about it that ah. he sat there and was like, "Oh yeah, I met him somewhere," and but Chris Evans saved him, or Captain America saved him once, right. and it's like, okay, well, who did she marry? Because they actually didn't say who no, she they married. Did not. That would be interesting. Mm-hmm. Plus, uh, we have the chance of uh, Tony Stark's father being a character. I really want Armin Zola to be a character. Is Definitely. what I want. Because as we've seen, hey, he was working with S.H.I.E.L.D., as were a lot of other uh, Hydra Nazi scientists. So you could have a bunch of different Hydra Nazi scientists pop up in Canada. Oh, Tommy Lee Jones to come back. Uh, that would be awesome, Tommy Lee Jones. Keep dreaming, Sean. Tommy Lee I know, he's Jones. never going to come he's back. He's never coming back. We're oh. lucky we get Nick Fury, and that's only because Samuel L. Jackson is a huge nerd. Well, the thing is, is uh, what are, we're going to get like a to. baby Samuel L. Jackson. Then. Oh, yeah. Oh, little baby Samuel. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> I hate snakes. Motherfucker snakes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> little baby Samuel L. Jackson will still hold people hostage. This is the best <laughs> show ever. Little baby Samuel Jackson. I want Found the this. title. I <laughs> uh, think we could get any of the Howling Commandos back. I mean, I know some of them were pretty heavy duty actors for the most part. They got to at least get Dugan back. Yeah, I think oh, he, I, I think, think he's will. coming back. I think Howard Stark would be good to have in it. Oh well, th- well they got to have him too. Is he a TV actor mostly, uh, or does he? He, do... he just did a mini series where he played Ian Fleming. Oh, that's what right. What if they show him true. die? Because you know how they say Winter Soldier. You know, basically he died. What if they show that? Ooh, that Ooh, would be that, cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan. We, of know, we know that Howard Stark lived watching. quite a few more years, though, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen in Iron Man 2, that footage where he's clearly a lot older. But I'm assuming Different like it's a, it's a miniseries, so it might get a season two. You know, it's also on going to be on ABC. It's That's Disney's network, so yeah. they could give it a season two if they want it. Yeah. I want some, like, old-timey freaking uh, World War II Hydra villains for them to fight is what I want. I want freaking, like, Masterman... And I want, like, the Night Mother and all those other, like, uh, Red Skull companions who hang out for a bit only to get killed off by Brubaker later. I want those guys. And I mm. want their silly freaking costumes is what I want. I want, like, like, the whole Red Skull B team is what I want. I hope that's who they fight. Like, Neo Hydra. I think that would be great. Yeah, the silence says everything about. <laughs> you just hey, I'm silent because I'm thinking about how good this show sounds. Just, just yeah. from speculation. I'm silent because actually Joe's idea sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> Which hey, again, not, yeah, it sounds good. And again, too, I know a lot of people are just hopping over to Wikipedia right now. Night mother. <laughs> <laughs> Master Man, who the fuck are these? Because they were basically Red Skull's buddy ba- buddies back in World War Two. They were the guys that uh, the Defenders and the Howling Commandos would fight. Every Dude, summer. Red Skull, let's go fuck shit up. And he's like, not yet. And he's like, what? 
<laughs> so basically what I'm trying to say is that, you know, an Agent Carter show, there would actually be no shortage of villains if they wanted villains, because there are actually quite a stable of Marvel ex-Nazi villains that they could do shit. Get frickin', uh, what is it, the new guy, uh, we saw at the end of Winter Soldier, the dude making sh- uh, shit, see a younger version of him, maybe. That would be oh, cool. Um, oh, yeah. oh, God, what's his name? Baron... Yeah, but Baron uh, Strucker, yeah. Well, well, also, Baron Von though, Strucker. How, yeah. how can yeah. we also, though, because of the fact how that, the yes, the Winter Soldier... How the fuck do we Soldier, forget his name? How are we... Are they going to actually have him throughout this series? Because, remember, Hydra finds him, mm. and Hydra's the reason why he comes back throughout time. And they Sebastian freeze him, Stance he comes has a back. lot of contracts with Marvel and uh, Disney, so there's who's to say... Not and he's done television as well. And he was a mad hatter in Once Upon a Time. Exactly. He was really good in that. He I've got to say. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so and he was, was. He was really good. And it's so, a great show. And Yeah. yeah it's Isn't like, that an ABC show as well? That is an ABC show. Yeah. So there you go. That would be really cool. Nice little <laughs> gap bridge in there. Get to see Bucky at a younger time as he just becomes the Winter Soldier. That would be pretty I'm vicious. guessing as well, ABC seems to have a really great relationship with Marvel because they let the guy who plays Prince Charming in Once Upon a Time not return for Thor 2 because of that show. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> Hell, let's see all the crazy Russian characters from the Br- Brubaker run. Let's see freaking Lucan for crying out loud. Let's see him and be like, Urgh, America, me no like. Mm. Yeah, no. I want Iron Sheik it's... to play him, even though yeah. he's not Russian. This Iron is, Sheik, please. This is what I'm afraid of. We we want so much out of the show, and which we wanted a lot out of Shield, and early on it was hard for them to deliver. So do we want to do that dance all over again? Well, and not even that. Like, okay, they want it as a mini series, but what if they don't? bring it back for another second miniseries and they have so much they can do what if we love it so much are they going to be like well we're done we don't want to do it again and now leaving all of us being like well what the fuck's coming next or well, by then are we'll they going have to Netflix series I, I think they plan yeah. on doing it for another miniseries plus you know and it's also it's um, ABC is owned by Disney, so they can, if they want to, even if it has bad ratings or whatever, they could still just get it to a second season because they own ABC. Yeah. It's the same way um, with with Shield in a way. Like I'm glad for a second season of Shield, but you know the ratings did go down a lot, and it, it has a high budget, but it does get a second season because it is owned by Disney. It is a nice gap filler in between Shield, yeah. which is nice. Keep people good and interested when it goes on mid season break, which is a smart move. I'm, I, one thing I'm surprised about is that the um, the TV shows haven't affected the comics at all yet. I mean, I'm, I keep expecting to hear an outside like an Agents of Shield comic book or well, Deathlock is actually Carter. showing up in the comics and he looks more like his old counterpart or his yeah. new counterpart. I mean, like a dedicated comic though, of just well, Agents of Shield or an Agent Carter comic series. Well, Coulson is on Secret Avengers now, and Secret Avengers is like ninety percent Shield agents anyway, so oh, it's basically enough. the yeah. Shield comic. And also. Colt Coulson is in the Ultimate Universe, which is fucking random. Oh, really? <laughs> he showed up there, too. What's Ultimate Coulson like? Just La- Coulson. Just Coulson. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no shit. He's just Coulson. Uh, he, he's the only constant in all universes. He's just He just pops up, and he's like, all right, I'm running uh, Ultimate FF now. And he's like, wow. Okay. Does he look wow. like uh, Clark Gregg? Uh, pretty much. Wow. Ooh. That's crazy. <laughs> and uh, love such him a great as a character. character. Nobody minds. Like sometimes people get really pissy when characters that are only in the movies and shows like turn up in the comics. Good like you can't don't hate on Clark Gregg. It's Clark Gregg. You're saying people hate on stuff when they show up in the comics. <laughs> diggle, <laughs> diggle. <Yeah>. Is Felicity <laughs> Smoke in the comics? Hmm? It's well, she, well, like the actual name is in the comics before. It's yeah. been there. As, but as the same sort of character, though. I mean, okay, I don't think so. Yeah, because that would really piss me off. Even though I don't read Green Arrow, that would piss me off. Well, again, here's the thing. Jeff Lemire introduced Diggle. No doubt they were pressuring him to put Diggle in there. And then what does Jeff Lemire do? He puts Diggle in a little box over in the side to let him go fight a gang war thing while the real story happens. So, yeah. (laughs) I thought you were going to say he put him in just so he could kill him off. Well, they put (laughs) they put his freaking mom in the comic only to kill her off later of cancer. So, I mean, you know, again, (laughs) that's really stupid. Yeah, clearly, clearly, poor Lemire has been feeling the push on that one. But we're not here to talk about 
Arrow, the last news story we have is something that I know we're all going to talk about, and I couldn't wait. That's why I'm glad we had a big group here to talk about that. And that is the Power Rangers movie that's going to be yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 Bring back I, Ivan Ooze, and I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I... I'm I'm I I heard about that and I actually didn't even hear about it from any of our news. I was listening to my local radio station oh, wow. <laughs> and I heard it there because it was first thing in the morning, didn't even go on Facebook yet, and all I hear on Mike and Chantel in the morning is so Lionsgate is making a Power Rangers movie. I like seriously about ready to slam on the brakes and go, What? <laughs> You're ready to just slam I'm into just other like, cars. <laughs> Wouldn't you, Sean? I mean the crazy thing is that Haim Saban and Saban seem to actually be involved with this which is kind of nuts like i didn't expect mm. that and even more so that it's going to be a full-on reboot of the teenagers with attitude concept which yeah. i think is even okay, crazy uh, they also <laughs> rumored like some young actor a uh, popular young actor or whatever was gonna play like the red ranger oh yeah you know. i forgot what the fuck his name was but it was like some popular pussy ass looking dude um, <laughs> there's, there's probably going to be a lot of that going on because uh, it's with lies gay right so you know they have hunger games divergent divergent mm-hmm. yeah twi- the twilight but yeah, I, you know, I liked hunger games so didn't they, they make also it like- say that they wanted to make power rangers more like twilight no, it was like oh, they just said it, they have the teen aspect, like Twilight, Hunger Games, and Divergent. So that's why they're, you know, it's because they're teens, you know, with attitude. With so. attitude, which and what is popular today, <laughs> teens with attitude, and what's also. I, popular, I just don't giant want robots. anyone. I, I don't want it to be like the Red Rangers going. Uh, I I don't know what to do, and the pink. You all know the scene because it happens in every teen yes. thing. Hey, but let's I, I don't know what to do, and the Pink Ranger comes up to him going. You do what you have to do. You lead the team. <laughs> hey, it it's all, like, it's while touching his face, too. You lead him. Come on. And they're about know. to kiss. They're like, I got to do this. Hey, <laughs> in all fairness, Power Rangers was doing the Tommy, Jason, Kimberly love triangle way uh, before <laughs> teen love triangles wait, got super popular. Wait, wait, wait. Sure. Tommy and Kimberly were trying to fuck Jason? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, they were. It was you like, see his own song, Zed. But oh, remember, guys, <laughs> oh. he's gay, though. So he likes well, yeah, to he's not bang bang. No, he's like, really not thing, gay. So. He's not but do we want it to go full silly, or do we want it to be more serious, like Hunger Games? Well, you know I mean, so don't don't go Hunger Games silly uh, if you series. break it down. But that's neither here nor there. I mean, what did you think? I mean, I want the costumes to look like the Mighty Morphin costumes from the first movie because they were yeah. pretty damn good. Like, I was oh, always yeah. annoyed yeah. when the TV show came back after that and the costumes went back to spandex. My so question is, how much are they going to change? But I, wonder. I only say be, they're going to be more serious just because of they say it's rebranding. And, you know, it's Power Rangers. It's been silly. So when they say rebranding, are they going to make it more Hunger Games style where it's serious in a way? You know what I mean? Well, it's like, my thing it's like, can you even do a serious Power Rangers without it itself turning into a parody? Because, I mean, people, like, when I read the comments from the video, which was very popular, thank you for watching, everybody. Everyone's <laughs> like, yeah, I can't wait for a new movie without any of the cheesiness. And I'm like, uh, Guys, the whole series is a celebration of yeah. cheesiness. It is a legacy of cheesiness, is what it is. If you take that away, what the hell do you have? You have nothing. I wouldn't mind if it went full silly. I'd have my popcorn, I'd laugh, be like, oh, what is he doing? Why are they all just saying, I'm a transform or whatever? And hey, like, see, it could know? be an amazing parody. If they got. Uh, like the two guys who wrote 21 Jump Street oh, and the Lego movie, yes. it would have been fucking amazing. Like, that would be funny as thing. <laughs> or they just get, get the people Parker that made Matt beautiful Stone. Joe. Oh god, yeah, that would be excellent. <laughs> uh, again, the tone of this, I really wonder. I also wonder what they're gonna do for Thread. Again, I'm thinking, what are we thinking? Like Rita for the first one. Rita. Yeah. And then if it becomes yeah. a series, they'll bring in Zed later. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Are they also though? Is it going to be? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Power Rangers we all grew up with, well, or are they doing some of the new stuff? Or it could just be original Power Rangers thing that didn't, like, you know, because they always do, like, a new series or whatever, take from Japan, but it could just be an original Power Rangers team hmm. for the movie. Maybe. I mean, hmm. yeah. I mean, why not? I would love we to see original. Jennifer Lawrence as Pink Ranger, because I've always liked Pink Ranger. She's I would love to see sweating. Jennifer Lawrence. She's okay. Lionsgate already. Why not? Freaking. Oh, well, she's taking a break from everything. Here's oh, my thing. True. Freaking Tilda Swinton, the Ice Queen from the Narnia movies, as Rita. Make it happen. 
Yes. I, I, yes. Or I had to think genius. about that for a second. I was like, oh wait, I see <laughs> or, it. Or if you want to go if you want to go Asian with it, if you want to pay homage to the fact that Rita is Asian in all the footage, get Ming Na from Agents of Shield. She can Damn. be Rita. No, I, I can't see her because she's she's got her own little badassiness like going with Shield. Oh I wouldn't want to see her in that. I, I would think they put like a full Agent costume Rangers on her, you know, like Rita. Exactly, Rita. with the big crazy hat and everything. Yeah. It's like, these rangers are giving me such a headache. Come on, that would be great. <laughs> Lord, I'd love to see it, Quentin. <laughs> I'd love to see a Quentin Tarantino take on Power Rangers. Oh, jeez. I'd love That'd to see a Rated R Power Rangers movie. No, oh, no, that would be yeah. good. Get Jennifer Lawrence in there, we could finally get a shot of her feet. Mm, Sean would <laughs> like Quentin that. Quentin Tarantino oh, imagine was doing Rated R Power Rangers, like comedy. <laughs> Bam, like they Wait, cut rated someone's R. head off. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm like, it will be rated R because the foot shot? <laughs> that's, yeah, yes. yeah, that's how horrible they look. No, it's, it'll be rated R because of her booty. Her oh, booty's that God. good. Uh, sure, sure. It, it does worry So we got foot and booty talk about Jennifer <laughs> Lawrence and Shout out to Mitch. I, oh I like where God. this is going. This is a good Look, we, we have to uh, we, we have to pander to TV tropes here. Of course. Oh, yeah, <laughs> All right, so how long <laughs> then are we going to get a new Power Rangers um parody porno? Ooh, uh, very soon I hope. Axel <laughs> Braun get a dude, I don't follow Axel Braun on Twitter. I absolutely should. He's the guy who does all those porn parodies. Yeah. <laughs> like, Dude, I, need, I need to so like so many Power Rangers porns. I'm sure by now. I need to yeah. like study his ways. Like, okay, so if I do it this angle, you know, dig double. All right, Tom, you're uh, you're a filmmaker. You should definitely uh, like Make talk to this guy. <laughs> yeah, you should totally you you and the, uh, no, actually you film it. Get the other Tom to make a fuck film like Rich Evans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, God. Uh, sorry, like we'll Dustin have Tom Diamond. and Tom production. Here's the good version and the naughty version. Ooh. <laughs> we should speak to Axel Braun, though, see if he'll make a porno version of Dynamic. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> Dynamic morphed into a hardcore sex movie so gradually I barely even noticed. <laughs> oh my God. I we'd have to be a, we'd have to either I'm make sure a char- we'd either have to make one of the existing characters female to make it work or it'd just be straight up gay porn. <laughs> hey, there's a market just for get that. Phoenix Marie and it'll be all good. Armin will love you for the rest of his life. Like, Phoenix oh Marie can play me. <laughs> oh my god. Surge almost killed me. What's happening next? All right, observer, fuck me. Yes. Oh man, Surge has taken control of all the vibrators in the country. <laughs> oh man, that's an excellent scheme. I would happily play that. <laughs> and all the vibrators under my control. Now, Surge will reign up porn podcast. You're infecting them like Transformers seem to Oh, jeez. And it's like they're, they're, they're inventing clamps so you can't remove them. Oh, and oh, 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 you oh boy. my god. <laughs> You have to stop Surge. So what we're saying is we're very excited for the new Power Rangers movie and its inevitable porn parody. Oh, yeah. Uh, man, we should definitely fucking do a commentary of it. Oh, man. <laughs> the next riff, Power Rangers pornos. <laughs> you know, honestly, I really do want to do the Avengers one, but oh, everybody oh, would probably be silent and jerk it off. I, I saw Holy this one. I saw the Spider-Man 2 one, and the funny thing is is that those movies actually have some continuity in between them. <laughs> so they really do! Yeah, that Spider-Man has the Cosmic Cube going on. They have, like, a new Spider-Woman in there. There's a lot of stuff going on in those movies, man. A lot of stuff. Shout out to the porn industry. Yeah. Have you seen the Clerks porn parody yet? I have oh, not. <laughs> that is actually really funny. Like, you can download a version of it where all the sex is just cut out, and it just plays like a straight-up sequel to Clerks where Dante and Randall were women. Who the hell would want to watch but that? It's, it's well written, though. Hey, yo, it's actually, it would. really is entertaining. Wait, wait. Does she suck 37 dicks in a row? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> On screen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you had me going, Tom. You had me excited. I bet, I bet there is a scene. I know there's a scene where Jay fucks Silent Bob. And on 37 oh. dicks, on 37 dicks, I think we've said just about everything that's needed to be said on this episode. Oh. One thing left to say. Okay, uh, p- parting thoughts, everyone, before we call it. Shitworms. Oh, God. <laughs> you worked it in. Way. You worked it in. <laughs> you always have so, to work it in. <laughs> people were so annoyed when I brought that back last week that I've got to bring it back every time. Well, you know, well, you know we're shouting it... catchphrases, you know, Bane Dick, Crane Dad. Oh, Wait, Sean? No, 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 no. Okay, I want to say something here because uh, I, I was like, because everybody's getting all like catchphrases or whatever, and I was going to say Bojangles. Uh-huh. But no, here's the thing. 
here's the thing about the Bojangles, though. I fucking hate Bojangles, by the way. But what? okay, what? no, because um, my parents they uh they got some Bojangles yesterday, right? Huh. You know, I was like, you know what? You know, I was like, you know what? Uh, you know, I just got home, whatever. I was like, you know what? I might as well eat it. You know. Anyway, so yeah, I put it in the microwave, whatever. Tell me why it literally tasted like someone threw up all over it. Oh, sorry about that, Sean. That was my bad. <laughs> like, I mean, the only thing that, the, oh, tacos are good. But anyway, the only thing <laughs> that uh, that didn't taste like throw up was the biscuits. But even that had like a very smell of someone like threw up or my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> um it's like it really didn't smell good whatsoever. It tasted bad. The the fries were all like you you heat it up and you just see all the grease in it. It literally slips out of your hand. Like oh, the fuck sucks. eats at Bojangles and you know I go back there and then all of a sudden I just see these big fat fuckers just like you know cooking all the food. I'm like oh that explains it. They never <laughs> noticed that some of their some of their juices excrete onto the food. Oh. All their sweat and shit, so that's oh. why it, that's why it tastes nasty. And this public service announcement is brought to you by Sean of the Comic. Never yes. eat Bojang! I was gonna try it once just to do it, but now I don't want to. I don't even care. I really don't. The more you know, everyone, the more you know. <laughs> yeah. And here's our means uh, final thoughts on uh, the whole Power Rangers thing. He wants Phoenix Marie as the pink power ranger porno so we now are gonna have to get her for dynamic porno and power rangers porno should we should Just make her some, and everything we should make yeah. some money <laughs> first to pay her Wait, who? uh i bet you because of the fact that she loves comics and we do too if we're all in the same place at the same time, we may not need to pay her <laughs> look just put this pink helmet on okay honestly if, dude, don't like, if we somehow see phoenix marie at comic-con I want to join in on the inevitable fuck scene that we're going to have. San Diego. <laughs> it's San Diego Comic Con. She always goes. Wow. And record. is also oh, right always in cosplay. All right. Let's go. CBC official. Does anyone, else kinda, does anyone else kind of hope for the wrong reasons that they make the Black Power Ranger a black guy and the yellow one an Asian uh, girl again? Uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> you know they but would, I, I they would do that and then they would get like so reamed out or people wouldn't even notice. Yeah, I, I, I just I hope would. they do it again just to piss some certain people off because people are too bloody. Uh, what's the word? They're too sensitive about that. Mm-hmm. And on what? that note, parting words, anybody? <laughs> no. My parting words, besides Phoenix Marie, needs to be an all porno. Um, I Constantine DC TV show wise, hopefully this new generation. We actually forgot to talk about something. What did we forget to talk? The about? tiny, tiny little bit of the Flash teaser we got. Yeah, it's like two it's seconds. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, it's, I'll, it's I'll coming in with the Arrow finales. The actual. It looked is. really shitty. All right, that there's that. <laughs> Flash yeah. run fast. That good. End of show. Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>